Tron. 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 All right. All right. We're off to a good start here, chat. Off to a pretty good start. Lantern's actually a very good matchup for Tron, for those that haven't played it before. We are currently using over three gigabytes of RAM. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, just i forgot how great it is to play this deck i forgot how fucking good it feels just all of the things all of them they're all they all belong to us world breaker sounds really good in the tron mirror sign me up Uh, the queue gets updated at the end of every stream. So anything you've sent midstream gets updated at the end. So it'll be up there by tomorrow morning. It'll be live by tomorrow morning. So my post, my post stream ritual is I upload and format all of the YouTube videos, or I format the videos that are already uploaded, and then I respond to messages and update the queues with everything. Ooh. Ooh, they have the ghost quarter. Now draw step ghost quarter us. Oh, that was the wrong video. I feel like the opponent made a grave mistake, which was assuming that I wasn't going to have natural Tron. Haven't you? You're playing Tron opponent. Don't you understand? that I was always going to have it. Didn't you, didn't you know, fellow Tronian, that you, there could never have been a different result here? Man, the opponent seems really bad at this. They should probably ghost quarter me, right? Because they know about this world breaker. They should not have let me untap here because now I get to use the land that they that they ghost quarter to search up a copy of itself. So now I get to world breaker them this turn. So small, small missequencing on my opponent's part here. They 10 out of 10 should have ghost quartered us on their turn. This deck is so dumb. If you ever, like, need a break from playing fair, honest, modern, Tron is such a refreshing, relaxing break. You're just like, nah, brah, get ya. Get ya. All right, this is lagging really bad. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do a full shill sponsor mid sideboard here, but I am gonna reconnect Magic Online really quick while I have three minutes. Now, I keep you around for your big dopey smile, too, Nivik. Your smile is great. Look at that. Look at that face on the banner. Look at that face on the banner. It's fantastic. All right, we're back. Let's sideboard. Tron mirrors, eh? Tron's going to give it to you. Or I'm not going to sideboard because it's not going to reconnect. Maybe. Maybe. Bueller. Anyone? All right, Thought Not seems good. Relic does not. Eugene's pretty bad, right? Walking Ball seems okay. We do have a Ghost Quarter in R75, so that's good. Is Thought Seize good enough in the mirror? I feel like Thought Seize could be okay. So like take their big dumb things away from them. Dismember's pretty bad. Swag dead. Let's do that. Let's do that. Now nah, I think artifact removal is pretty bad. On average, it's not great. Two of the same Tron piece. 
Where's the Tron luck we had last game? I'm gonna keep this. It's good with us. It's good with a chromatic, and it's also decent with just another Tron piece. Well, Magic Arena isn't finished yet, so it's not really fair to say whether or not it's good or bad. It might be bad, but we just don't know if it's going to be good or bad yet. I'm going to concede if they play Karn on turn two. <laughs> I mean, just keep one lander on the draw, casual turn three Tron. For those of you, for those of you that haven't played the Tron Mirror before, you should concede to that. You're gonna save yourself plenty of time. Save yourself plenty of headache, just concede to Karn. His big dopey smile. Why is Karn so excited, you ask? Because he does terrible things to your opponent's lands. Sand's not amazing, but it's a keep. Opponent's mulligan to six as well. I'm going to... I'm gonna to top that. It sets us up for turn four Karn reasonably. This deck is good. Does other people know about it? That's a good question. It's a good question. Are they are they aware? Are they aware that this is a thing they're allowed to be doing? Unsure, unsure. Basic four is sweet. Basic forest means turn four Karn should be plenty quick enough. Six lands at finding, six cards at finding another Tron piece here. There's the mine, sweet. Okay, there's a ghost quarter. They've learned. They know we usually have it. They're doing it aggressively. That's smart. So you always want to ancient stirrings before you map because ancient stirrings only sees five cards, whereas this can get us either of our missing Tron pieces. So unless they have another ghost quarter here, they should be up a creek without a pedal. Hey, I will have you know we 3 2 to league with Slivers today. Thank you very much. We 3 2 the crap out of a league with Slivers. That deck is great. Nobody in chat believed in it, but I believed in it. Let's see if my opponent understands the Tron Mirror as well as I do. Are you going to make me keep playing Magic? Ah, uh, see, they don't, they don't understand what's up. They don't, they don't get what's going on. <laughs> Can I get some cards in chat? Come on, subs, you're slacking. Can I get some cards in the chat here? Remember, yeah, see? <laughs> oh, baby. Give it to me, baby. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, yeah, there we go. Thank you, subs. I appreciate it. There's there's the Karn father. Karn is love. Karn is life. You see, opponent, if you would have conceded to the first Karn like you were supposed to have, you wouldn't have had the demoralizing defeat of having no permanence in play. Flawless victory. Ha! Get him. Get him. Running him down. Running him down. And I want, I want everybody to remember while you watch that game, remember these important words. Stoneforge Mystic is too good for modern. Just, just keep that in the back of your mind. Keep it, just take it, tuck it away, tuck it away, tuck it away. Just that's, that's what you need to remember. That's, that's what you... <laughs> I, I swear... 
that this isn't pre-recorded and we are currently playing these games live. I swear to you that we are currently playing Magic the Gathering live and in Technicolor. Here's some bits for the Karn Father. All hail Karn. God bless you, Karn. And your may your big steely glory guide us to victory. It would let me play Stoneforge Mystic because I love Stoneforge Mystic. Modern is a format about letting people play cards that are yeah. This this person must watch the stream. They're playing Cobra Sahili and they conceded to turn three Karn. They know what's up. They've done this dance before. They know they know when the writing's on the wall. Oh baby. Oh baby. Alright, concession con. <laughs> God bless you, opponent. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Is it nuts? World Breaker's not gonna do I think I just want all my brutalities in this matchup, right? Just like kill their cobras and crap. I think that's what I want. We all have to accept that we are humble servants of Tron. It's okay if you've disliked Tron in the past. Karn, Karn forgives all sinners and welcomes them into his church. All right. Um, this is certainly too slow, right? Oh, you know what? They sometimes play... They sometimes play Stony Silence, right? So maybe I should have boarded in Nature's Claim. No, I think Ulamog's good. Sometimes you do have to go that big. Punishing Fire is kind of obnoxious. I think I'm okay with Punishing Fire not being in Modern. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, magic, magic's a tough game. A, a second ago, I didn't have a third Tron piece. I didn't have a threat. Now I have a third Tron piece and a threat chat. You know, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta believe. Is there anything Karn can't do? Kanklebiter asking the real questions. There, real, there really isn't. There really isn't anything Karn can't do. Oh no. Oh no, we're getting avalanche riders. Denise Lettuce. Our father who art in Shrine. Oh, oh, Magus of the Moon, huh, opponent? That's, that's so rude. Why would you, why would you be so rude to me? Why would you be so rude to my car and opponent? You have this Magus of the Moon. They actually have a pretty quick clock with Elemental too. So, Magus gonna give it to us. He's gearing up to give it, give it deep inside. You disrespected the Khan Fazer. The punishment shall be swift. Oh, smoke if you got him, chat. Smoke him. Smoke him if you got him. Smoke him if you got him, chat. That's even puts my overgrown team into play untapped. Oh, yeah. Just. Just. Oh, yeah. Just exile that one. Yep. Yeah. Your move, Yugi boy. That's all I got. That's all I got. I gotta take him off the Felidar so we don't get comboed. That's really rude, opponent. It's really rude. Why you? Uh, why you have to be mad? It's only game. Why you have to? Why you have to destroy my Tron piece? Renegade Rallyer wasteland me again. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. They're so. They're so angry. Why are you so angry, friendo? You're so, you're so angry at my Tron pieces. It's attacking Karn. I assume this is attacking Karn, yep. Yeah. 
Tron, 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 Tron. I'm just gonna, just gonna brush my shoulders off here. Just never forget yet. Hashtag Tron, never forget. Welcome to Thunderdome, opponent. Welcome to Thunderdome. Watch them like have a line to combo us here. I deserve that. Karn is definitely the best three mana planeswalker in modern. Not close. What's this going to be? Any five mana creature. What do you got? I just got back and saw this. I believe. Oh! Ooh! They're going to give it to us. If they have another creature, we're actually dead in two here, right? We're actually dead in two. Okay. Okay, we were gloating. We need we need a live one. We need a Eugene or we need a We need a Eugene or an O-Stone here. I guess Karn maybe keeps us alive for a turn two. No, Karn's not even gonna do it. We need uh Ulamog is also a live draw. We need Ulamog, Eugene, or Oblivion Stone here. Man, man, we are just we got manhandled by these tiny green and white creatures. That's so rude, opponent. Why you have to be so mean? It's on the game. Why you have to be so mean and reflect my creatures? I feel, I feel wronged, chat. I feel wronged. We're, ve we're very unlucky, I agree. Just, just the gosh darned unluckiest. This hand's pretty good. I don't think you mulligan aggressively for three Tron pieces against the deck with Ghost Quarters and stuff in it. Can we ban Reflector Mage? That card was banned in standard for a reason. It's not fair. <laughs> I get by with a little help from my friends. I get high with a little help from my friends. Do 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 Easy game, easy life. I love it here. We'll start using the phrase sign the slip bud more often. It's going on zero forever. Thank you for the three month big sub resubscription. Welcome back. I do appreciate it. Let me know what donation deck you want me to put in the queue for you later. Do I just tick up the card in here? I just tick up the Karn because then they can just never get rid of it, right? Or do I down tick on a Noble Hierarch? Is it down tick on Noble or up tick on their hand? I could see just taking the Noble off the table here because it stunts their growth. I think I'm supposed to take the Noble. I think I've got enough other stuff in my hand that I just want to stunt their growth at this point. Yep. Yep, we do get to scrying and worm next turn. Opponents playing Cobra Sahili, a deck that we've played a bunch on stream. It's a rude dude. It's a rude dude. I guess we have Karn in play, so we can't really complain about other people being rude. That's pretty unlucky. Didn't draw exactly tower to cast Dulamog. We're just the unluckiest, chat. Just the, just the gosh darned unluckiest. I think I'm going to wait on this Sylvan Scrying in case they ghost quarter me later. I just want to be able to, like, reassemble Tron on demand, I think. Because I have, I have enough, yeah, look at that. Play well, get rewarded.
If they Magus here without Ghost Quartering... Oh, is this an Eldritch Revolution? Smells like Eldritch Revolution. Are they going to Reflector Mage me again? Yep, they can Reflector the Worm and then hit Karn down to three, I guess. But that still lets me take... That still lets me take the Magus off the table and then play Ulamog next turn. Yeah, I think I think the sequence is wrong. I think they're supposed to guarantee take me off of Tron because like they're giving me a turn with Tron next turn. They're like saying, "Hey, you can trade your Karn for whatever," but like <laughs> this game, this is a tough. Let me tell you about Magic: The Gathering chat and how tough Modern is a format. That's very skill intensive. It's very, very skill intensive. Your move. This is all I got. Sounds good, Zero Forever. I've been ghost quartered, you got me. Are we done here yet? They conceded so early in the first game. Yeah, we're done. We're done here. We're done here. Woo! Quick, quick 2-0 with Tron. 20 minutes, 2-0 in the league. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out. My name is Jeff Hoagland. We are currently in our 10 of our 12-hour stream today. We're going to finish up this league with Tron, and then we're going to play a Legacy League to close out the day with a red-white painter servant toolbox deck. If you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. My subscribers are the reason I'm able to do what I do as often as I do it. I do this full time now, 30 plus hours a week doing magic. You can also support my stuff by supporting my sponsors. MTGOTraders.com would love to buy and sell magic online cards with you. And if you use code Hoagland PayPal at checkout with them, you'll save 8% on your singles orders there. CoolStuffInc.com buys and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles using promo code Jeff5. You can save 5% on magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them. And Mac Weldon, of course, they provide premium men's clothing using code Jeff Hoagland at bit.ly forward slash Google Clothes. You can save 20% on your first order of premium uh, t-shirts, polos, underwear, shorts, all sorts of great stuff there. Any rate, we're 2-0 in this league with Tron. Slipping down in here, hoping to carn some more nerds before the night is up. Tron, Tron, Tron. Sounds good. Sign me up. We don't we don't have a turn three carn yet. But I get two draw steps before then, so it'll work itself out. You bought a piece of power. Congrats and condolences. I mean, the good news is that's probably never going to go down in value, right? Uh, Admiral Ozbot, $50 pushes a deck to the start of the next stream. Uh, a $100 donation lets you jump something that's already in line. It's to encourage people to let us keep the schedule. But also, if people really want to throw money, who am I to say no? This is a different Tron Mirror, okay? Different opponent than the first match. We're gonna have a turn five Ulamog, which is pretty slow. So if they have a fast Karn, we could be in trouble. If they have a fast Karn, we could be in trouble. Do they not have another land? All right, well, they got fast nothing. A greeny tea, Azumol, welcome. God, life, life is tough. Remember when I said he didn't have a turn three threat, but we had two draw steps? Worked itself out. Worked itself out. Cycle, sure. Okay, slow and steady. Yeah, Flickmaster, you can always you can always add more on top of whatever you already have in the queue. Who, who am I to not take your money? All right, so unless they have Natural Tron Karn next turn, 
will get to go Sanctum, Ulamog, take two lands, get another Ulamog. How do you recommend testing for a Grand Prix? I recommend finding the deck that you want to play and then sitting down with another... Oh, 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 it could be getting interesting. They're smart. They went after the Tron piece. We were so close. We were so close, chat. All right, what are we doing here? I think we just have to O-Stone and then smack the Karn. If they have another Karn, I guess we have double Tron at this point, which is nice insulation. Peace, damage shell. Have a good evening. Hope everyone's out there having a good weekend, having a good, good end of your week. Hanging out, playing some modern here. That's not just windmilling a Karn, so that's good news for us. This could be something scary. That's a tower. This is this could be a current still. Looks like it uh, could be Walking Ballista, too. Yeah, it looks like Walking Ballista. Tower. 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 I mean, that's, that's kind of a tower. That's kind of a tower. So, I'm actually just going to play Sanctum here because I don't want to give them a chance to car in my tower here, right? By waiting a turn to put the tower into play, I guarantee to have Tron next turn since I have two of each of my other Tron pieces out. It's gonna send three upstairs here. Seems fair. So, oh, I guess, I guess they could Ulamog us. I said they can't take us off of Tron, but that's a lie. They could Ulamog us this turn. We're just, we're not going to beat an Ulamog though, so there's no need to play around it. We can play around a World Breaker and a Karn, so let's play around those. Good old Battle Cruiser magic here. They could also have a Ghost Quarter to get with this Expedition map, which is another thing to play around by playing the Sanctum out. Yeah, but the problem is the Ulamog's just going to exile our deck. Smells like Ulamog. Yep, they hit that turn, that turn four when they hit the natural trend and had the current. It put us just off tempo enough and we never had a current of our own. Never had a current of our own. Thankfully, we just boarded the Tron mirror, so we have that on lock. Oh, I boarded out Ulamog instead of Ugin. That's a boo-boo. Walking Ballista and a Thrag Tusk. Nah, I'd probably rather have a Relic to cycle. Correct. And they missed land drops, so they, they ran them off the top. That is exactly correct. They hit Runner Runner Tron pieces on turns turns three and four. Hey, that's that's the Tron life though, right? Like that's that's why you're playing the deck. You're playing the deck to run them off the top. They, even if they let us have Tron the following turn, Tom, we still didn't have enough to Ulamog them. So, it's fine. Let's blow through this Tron League, and then we're going to play some Strawberry Shortcake. It's going to be good to go. It's going to be good to go. I think Hearthstone or Magic is a better online card game. I don't even think it's particularly close. Hearthstone is a much better computer game than Magic. I mean, like, Richard Garfield himself is on, is on command, is on file, whatever you want to call it, on record, that's the word I'm searching for, talking about how Magic doesn't translate to digital well, and that's why he's working on Artifact with Valve. 
I see Fleck Mister just called up my schedule there. I will likely be um I will likely be adding either tomorrow or Sunday some 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 amount of stream time after the Grand Prix is done. I need to talk with the boss to confirm which of those two days I can do, but I will I will be on at some point over this weekend. It'll be it'll be interesting to see Richard Garfield designed the game Artifact and then went to Valve and said, hey, I have this game. Do you want to put it with your IP? I think this hand is fine. Like, this finds me one Tron piece. This finds me another Tron piece. I don't have a threat, but, like, not every hand can have a threat and Tron pieces in it. Ghost Quarter is pretty good since we don't have a fantastic threat just yet. Because next turn I can find my Tron plus play Ghost Quarter and Ghost Quarter them to keep them off of Tron. Richard Garfield's really good at making games. Valve is really good at making video games. So hopefully Artifact's going to be a winning combination. Good for us. Not gonna have Tron for a while now. I'm gonna get my Tron piece. I'm gonna play and cycle this relic. They're probably gonna ghost quarter us here, so we just want to like can trip towards finding finding more Tron pieces. Okay. Any magic player that's calling Hearthstone expensive. Like as someone who's recently given Blizzard copious amounts of money to play a lot of different Hearthstone decks, Hearthstone is very cheap in comparison to Magic. And in relation to what we spend to play Modern and Standard and Magic, Hearthstone is very cheap. That's all, that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, are we done here? It is another Tron Mirror wall. This is our second Tron Mirror. Watch his magic stream, yep. Well, to be fair, they didn't say Hearthstone was pay to win. They said Hearthstone was pay to play. And Hearthstone definitely is pay to play. Like, you can grind it for free. You pay with your time or pay with your money. You have to put something into it. For my years, it's less than an entire card. Yep. Pretty easy mulligan here. Uh, yeah, I think this is a keep. We're, this is, uh, we're conceding to a turn three Karn, but a lot of our hands in the draw concede to turn three Karn. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna link this. I'm just gonna link this. I think the number of magic players that use the fallacy to tell themselves I'm making an investment so it's okay to spend this money on magic, I think that's silly. Your hobby isn't an investment. If, if you wanna make an investment, get an IRA, get some stocks, get some bonds. Like this is supposed to be a game that you play for fun. I feel like as someone who owned a lot of standard cards for a long time, you don't sell those standard legal cards. You, you, they end up rotting. If you're playing standard and actually playing magic the entire rotation, they're not worth anything at the end. You don't have an investment. You have cards that have, that have rotted and aren't worth anything at the end. And sure, modern, modern's a little bit different, but here's, here's another thing. Do you ever plan to sell your modern deck? If you don't ever plan to sell your modern deck, and a lot of people don't ever plan to sell their modern deck, you haven't made an investment. You've just have this thing that you paid to play a game and you're not gonna stop playing the game. So you just have this thing that you spent a bunch of money on. And it's okay to spend a bunch of money on magic. Magic's a sweet game, but I feel like this, it's an investment is like this psychological thing magic players like to tell themselves to make it make themselves feel okay about spending money on something they like anyways. 
What deck would you recommend for Hearthstone if I wanted to play a more controlling combo deck and switch from time to time? I'm playing Odd Rogue at the moment. Um, Big Spell Control Mage is actually kind of sweet. Uh, Quest Rogue is a very good control deck in the format. Someone clip that. Yeah, someone, someone feel free to clip that. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, whatever makes you happy. Whatever whatever you get enjoyment out of, like... Oh, Q-Block. Q-Block's the tier one control deck. Yep. Spell Hunter is a fun... If you don't necessarily want... want Spell Hunter is not tier one in Hearthstone's current format, but God, do I fucking love Spell Hunter. It is easily my favorite deck in Hearthstone's current standard format. It's so much fun. Rexar is probably the most fun in, in their standard format. What'd they get? I got some more Tron pieces. You have a Karn, can I concede yet? That's a tilt. That's a big old tilt team. Tilt. We gonna die to these Thought Not Seers, boys. I watched Jeff Hoagland to get rich quick flipping Mac Weldon premium polos. They're good stuff. They're good stuff. Why, why does Reddit hate me? So when I was a very new content producer in Magic, making Magic content, when people took the time to shit on the things that I had spent a lot of time working on and was, and I'm going to be honest, I was proud of them. Like I put a lot of effort into making these things. Like I had a few big tournament finishes and I felt like Codtron is great. And I felt like, you know, I really like spent a lot of time. So I wrote these great articles. And then there were these random people on the internet whose opinions I shouldn't have cared about, but honestly I did. I felt they made me feel bad about the accomplishments that I had done and the things I'd created. So instead of ignoring random trolls on the internet, I lashed out at them. I, I told people that told me that my results were irrelevant and that the things I wrote didn't make sense, even though I felt I'd articulated myself well. I called them bad names and I called them idiots and lots of things much worse than that when I should have just moved on with my life. And that, and that was the mistake that I made. And there are a lot of people that even two and three years later, they remember that and they're never gonna change their mind. And I, I accept that. Yeah, you don't, you don't read the, and that's one of the reasons why I don't have YouTube comments. Why I don't have YouTube comments enabled. I didn't, yeah, like I, I cared too much about what random people on the internet said and I was an asshole back to them. I responded to people being assholes by being an asshole. And that's not, and like, it, and there were some reasonable people that looked in on me responding to assholes by being an asshole back. And they're like, man, this dude's a turd. And like, to be fair, to be fair, I was kind of a turd. Like I called people really terrible things because they spent time shitting on this thing that I had worked hard on for what felt like no reason to me. And, and I, I was an asshole. And then there's, then there's the second hive mind part of Reddit where like there's people that never actually interacted with me on there and never read any of my stuff on there, but they've heard other people that said, oh, well, he's terrible and people never change. So like he must still be terrible now. So, you know, that, that's how it goes. Reddit is largely a dumpster fire, but I was part of the problem. I can, I can take responsibility for the things that I did. Also, I've been meaning to write to write something about this too. When I'm not sure people realize this, but like when you're spending a bunch of time like 
investing and like creating something in a game like Magic, a game that has a ton of variance by design, it can be really frustrating and disheartening to like, like when, when people say your results don't matter and like the only thing you have are those results and you're putting all this energy into something, it's like, it's very mentally taxing and you feel you feel drained and you feel like, well, are these things I'm doing, is it worthwhile? Like you're spending all this energy and it's like, well, they're, they're, and then you just, I lashed out and that was wrong. Let's see. There, there are some of those too. To be fair, there's definitely some of those. There's definitely people who don't care for how I manage the Twitch chat here, but that's okay. There's plenty of other Twitch chats out there they can go complain in. I just assume the people that disliked you on Reddit were the same that had gotten banned here. And there, there's definitely, there's definitely some of those, but, but like the long deep seated hatred is that that's where the long deep seated hatred comes from. Some, some of it was very deserving. Some of it was blown out of proportion, but some of it I deserved for sure. All right, I'm going to stand back up. These 12 hour streams, I go up and down a lot at the end because I'm getting kind of, getting kind of shifty. Hey, Lights. Well, thanks for coming around. I appreciate the support. I'm glad to have you here now. It's, it's nice to know, and it's, ve it's very difficult. You ever discuss politics with someone? It's very difficult to change someone's mind when they're set and they've made up their mind. <sighs> all right, all right, all right, all right. This is, this is kind of loose, but I've got two cantrips and I've got ancient storing, so I'm gonna keep it. The 25 year old one with more hair than I can deal with. Is there a way to donate to your receding hairline? <laughs> no, nah, it's all Declan just takes all of it. That that's the biggest thing that gets me right. Yoshi, the, the people that I've never met and never interacted with, I can't. I can't imagine, like, I almost feel bad for some of them in a way. Because, like, the people that, like, I directly interacted with, like, I understood why they were they were upset with me. But, like, people who've never met me and never talked to me, your life has to be kind of frustrating to, like, hate this random head on the internet that you've never actually met. It's got to be, there's got to, I always feel like there has to be something more going on in that person's life. And like, as I've got older, those are the types of ways that I try to think about things as opposed to just like, well, this person's all asshole and there's nothing to do about it, nothing to change here. I'm back from Mining Democracy. What's going on, JMP? We are currently in match four of five with the Tron deck, and then we're gonna roll into some Strawberry sh Shortcake. Welcome, thank you for the bits. Well, last night, my wife actually went out without me. She went out with some friends. I definitely would not be surprised if a non-zero amount of it was jealousy, Navik. I agree, Larynx. As with age comes wisdom, with experience. I like the timeout policy is much better. I agree that I was far too aggressive with the actual bannings early on with managing the channel. All right, so we've got a mine, we've got a tower, we need a power plant. To go ahead and play this chromatic star, we start trotting people next turn. Down with memes, up with Tron. I heard you are a dick. Yep, yep. All right. Well, they need a, they, they need a lot more counter spells here. We are going to do what Tron does best, which is slam threat after threat after threat. No, we were just. We were just talking and growing as a community. Now you can get a timeout just for asking. That's true. Look at this. God bless you, opponent. I can only assume when people concede to Karns like this that they've watched my stream and they understand valuing their time. All right, so I like bringing in smaller threats in matchups like this. Um, I actually think Dismember is pretty bad here, right? We definitely don't need to be killing Celestial Colonnade with it. Walking Ballista is medium. 
Do I play around the possibility of stony silence out of their deck is a real question. Yep, we've we've banned most of them out. I don't know if I want the discard spells in this matchup. I think against straight blue-white control, you want discard spells, but I'm not sure that you want them against Jeskai. <laughs> oh, Bob. <laughs> All right. Um... I'm just going to submit here. I'm just going to submit. I'm not going to hedge Stony... Since we're up a game, I'm not going to hedge Stony Silence until I see it. Not going to hedge Stony Silence until I see it. Rand random guy. I offer myself as tribute! <laughs> so, the thing that's sweet about Karn or Karn Tron, is that you can still take Stony Silences off the table with Karn. So, like, you don't have to fully hedge it if you don't know they're playing it for sure. I don't think that's true that they always have it. I think some of them don't. And, like, if they have Damping Sphere, I can Oblivion Stone Damping Sphere, right? <laughs> the old untie them out, retie them out, because you missed it the first time. <laughs> uh, this channel's great. Y'all are awesome. Thanks for hanging out, folks. Thanks for hanging out, folks. Uh, yeah, 2 1, we lost to Mir. Dice to Saint Trash. Okay, that's a little bit of pressure. We get to slam this Oblivion Stone into play, though. What's the next paper tournament I'm going to? I'm actually going to SCG Louisville next weekend. I'm planning to attend SCG Louisville next weekend. I'm going to start by using these, see what we get. That's an Ulamog, sign me up. Make green. Some of the innkeeper type type applications do that, I believe, JW. Filter green to green. I definitely want to get the O stone down this turn though. Definitely want to do that. Uh, I'm not sure offhand. I definitely don't know all the Hearthstone cards by name just yet. So, I definitely just want to crack O-Stone this turn. So, I'm going to go ahead and cast the Sylvan Scrying. This ramps us up into something bigger. So we'll crack the O-Stone on their turn, and then we'll get to Ulamog them on consecutive turns, our next two turns, and take them off of all of their lands. I think if you're playing green base Tron right now, I think you should have multiple Ulamogs in your 75. It's just one of your best cards in so many situations. It's very, very good. Tron is a very good deck of Magic the Gathering cards. I agree. Am I getting Helix tier or am I getting Snap Bolted? Hey, DJ Gray, thank you for the two-month resubscription. I do appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. I do appreciate it. Can I get a rollover when I sub next month? Unfortunately, I can't, uh, I can't reinstate old subs. I've seen lists that have up to three, and I think up to three is fine. I think up to three is fine.
We never actually had Kozilek in modern, modern Tron. That was Legacy Tron. That was Legacy Tron. If they have another Geist here, they could kill us. They have like Geist and another Red Source. Okay. I definitely want to take them off their red, right? Like that's not particularly close. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay, uh, if they have a path to exile here, they're gonna get to snap both those opponents played this game with the tools that they have very well. This matchup's very bad for them, but they're, they are leveraging the tools that their deck has to try and win the game. So if they have a path here and like we potentially have nothing, they could maybe win the game. All right, there's a path. Thankfully, we get to Ulamog them again next turn. They are a fancy burn deck. That is correct. Actually, we're just going to Worm Coil next turn now, right? Yeah, just going to Worm Coil. We want to buffer our health total. We can Worm Coil plus Ugin. Right? No, not quite. I'm a little bit short on that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we're dead to path. We're dead to Snapcaster. But if they don't have either of those things, we're gonna be in a very good spot. Maybe I should do this, but I don't know. I like getting out of burn range. We're dead to Cryptic Command too, actually. Is that a good one? Now we can, now we can Ugin plus Worm Coil this turn. Yeah, I think you're right, Bob. I think you're right that my line was worse than kill this thing. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. I want to cast this one. I was like, why is it making me click mana? I paid eight. Yeah, I think you're right. Because of the colors of mana that they have, it was worse. But it understands the writing is on the wall. We're three and one with Tron. I have one more match in this league before we play some Legacy. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out tonight, having lots of great talks and rants. Be sure to check out the sponsors that keep me here. InkedGaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience. Using code Jeff12, you can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, and bags there. Cardsphere.com would love to help you turn your magic cards into other magic cards or cash directly with other players. There's no haggling. They just take a 1% fee off the top. And this stream, of course, is made possible by viewers like Anironix, Justin, Nivik, and you. If you are new and enjoying the stream, make sure you hit the follow button. Following the stream doesn't cost you anything. It lets you know when I go live and with what. We're three and one with Tron. We've cashed basically every league today, feeling good. Hopefully we can win one more here and finish four and one before we queue into some legacy. This hand is not quite good enough. If it had an ancient storings in it, we'd keep it, but this is not good enough on say. Uh, yeah, this is a turn three card. Sign me up. I don't think I'm in the market for an Ulamog just yet. Yep, we're going to play. We're going to close the night out with Red White Painter Servant. It is a, it's a legacy deck. So I'm going to mix and match formats a little bit since this is a big, since this is a long stream. This is our seventh modern league of the day. So I'm going to wrap up this modern and then we will play some play some Lurgacy. That, uh, that's probably an overshare, AK Cracker. Let's keep it. Ban all slivers. Looks like Death Shadow. It is Death Shadow. Okay, they could. That's a very good draw game one. They don't have Ceremonious Rejection till post board, so if they get themselves low enough, a big Walking Blister can just steal this. This this Karn is almost certainly getting the stubbiest of Ds. Mine tower power plant. If they don't have a stubby D, we just wreck them, but 
I assume this is just raving, scrambling and stuff into dial. What's going on, Vix? Have a good, have a good trip home. Thanks for hanging out today. All right, they're at ten. They still need them to do a little bit more damage to themselves before walking ballista can kill them. So this is nine mana total. So if I play and cycle this, I still have mana for walking ballista for four. See if this resolves. I have a second one. All right, we're dead. This fetch shot kills us. This matchup's pretty close to my experience. This, this deck, the last, when I played Tron a bunch last summer, the opponent's deck was a deck that was very popular during that time. Thrag Tusk is great here. Walking Ball's great here. Relic is great here. Um, <clears throat> Ulamog's a little bit slow, but you want a couple. <sighs> World Breaker is usually smaller than their thing, so that's pretty bad. Where are my cuts? We need three more trims here. Ugin is like, okay, he's probably a trim. A Iang, thank you very much for the five month three subscription. I'm not quite certain how to pronounce your username. Feel free to correct me in chat. At any rate, thank you for the fifth month of Twitch Rhyme support. I do appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and run like this, I think. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna trim one. Drawing two can also be difficult to cast both, and these games sometimes go long. I don't think Thought Not Seer is good enough because it generally can't trade with any of their creatures, whereas Thrag Tusk gets to trade with Gurmag Angler. I'm gonna bottom this non. So I'm not likely to have Tron on three anyways this game. So I'm just gonna get Relic going ASAP. So that way I can keep their graveyard in check as much as possible. Gotta gotta get rid of them. Gotta get rid of them stubborn denials. They're so rude. It's the poor innocent Tron player trying to get behind the world. You always just want to use your relic as soon as possible. One, so you don't forget. And two, because they're always going to have a worse card in their graveyard. That didn't make sense. Just always use it as soon as possible. We're kind of getting to the part of the stream where I'm pseudo incoherent. So the Legacy League should be interesting. Hi, wife. Are the demons sleeping yet? No, but when I put them to bed, I'll look at... I love you. I think about what you want. You're not drunk, are you? I'm not drunk. I only had one. This is this is a soda. This is a soda for a little bit of caffeine. You sh all you showed was the nutrition label. It's fine, okay? Look, Coke doesn't pay me for a sponsorship. When but Coke starts, they, they, they definitely could, right? Stop it, Justin. And by that, I mean you can keep giving me money. Just stop saying Resto sucks. He gave you money to say that it sucks? Yeah, he hates my favorite card. What else sucks? <laughs> what else sucks? Let me know. What about... So, I don't understand why anyone would play Eldrazi Tron when you could instead be playing actual Tron. Chat, what should I feed Jeffrey? All right. Uh, they took Ballista. Okay, that makes sense, I guess, because it could kill them. No. Lasagna. 
I think red green Eldrazi is a much more reasonable deck than Eldrazi Tron because I feel like red green Eldrazi is at least doing something that's genuinely different than regular Tron. This might Starving. this might finally be the turn that we want to pop the relic just because like I really want to like get a threat to play next turn and with the stirrings we're likely to hit we're likely to hit something some kind of gas. I mean that's probably the best choice, right? Something he can't spell. There's someone that's been on the stream before. <laughs> Whatever it is, put it in a sippy cup. You're so dumb. Uh, oh, we can make a quiche. You want to do that on our next thing? People are asking if we could do a cooking stream. We have to figure out what we're going to make at this cooking stream. That's true. Should we make a savory treat or a, a sweet treat? Hoogle's wife is... His best wife. Uh -huh. You're amazing at putting up with a husband that has such poor taste in cards. Damn it, Justin. Why you have to be mean? It's only game. Ramen. Ugh. Nivik said you can make homemade ramen. Maybe homemade ramen is good. Maybe. The package kind is just so much. So. That that was wrong. I shouldn't have cycled that there. I've now made their thought seizes live. So I should have I should have waited to cycle that star because I couldn't play any of my bombs this turn. So this was a this was a mistake. I am amazing for putting up with you and your cards. Though. You're not you're not wrong. And you put up with it for a long time before it even made me money. <clears throat> How many anticipates did you buy? A lot. No, I've sold most of those. Those don't count anymore. Dead to rejection. Alright, every deck's a three-two deck, chat. What about the food declan eats? What about the food declan eats? I don't understand the question. All right, I think we've cashed every league today. Uh, green, black, trine, hot takes. Uh, play two or more Ulamogs. So Ulamog is like the best card in your deck at most points in the game where you're at 10 plus mana. So sub hype. Waldos, War Turtle, thank you for the tier one sub. I appreciate it. Thanks for helping me do what I do here every day. I think it's Waldos. Like, where's Waldo? Waldos, Waldos, Waldos. You should starve him until he admits Resto sucks. Thanks for the top throwing salty bits at me. <laughs> All right. All right, it's legacy time. I think time. you should throw more salty bits at him because that was funny. All right, time. <laughs> People have been asking about Dominaria cards in Modern. How about Dominaria cards in Legacy? The deal with Anticipate is that Jeffrey anticipated they would be worth money, and then they reprinted them a dozen times, and so there he bought a thousand of them. My child's screaming. Get back upstairs. You want to say hi to the internet? Go say hi to the internet. You want to come say hi, Declan? Hi. <laughs> you hear him? He said, Mommy, stay upstairs. I stay down here. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. You want to stay down here? Only if Mommy goes upstairs. How about you come upstairs with Mommy? No, I stay down here. Can Mommy stay down here? I stay down here. Hey, Dad, got swap cards out, dude. No. No! <laughs> I love no, you no, too, no, kiddo. No, 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 don't do that. He thinks it's funny, <laughs> though. How many stacks of anticipates? Not many. I've almost right, I've almost good. sold all of them. We have we have two cards. You're getting hit. Yeah. Yeah. You went the wrong way. Look, I <sighs> Alright, alright, what are we doing? Why is Declan so adorable? Almost certainly because of his mother. Lord knows it's not because of me. So this deck has two... What? Oh, no. These are for swimming. Swimming papers. Come on, let's go upstairs. Where do you see coins? Can we go upstairs, please? <laughs> on the other Jeff Hoagland telling me to make money buying Hangerback Walker. That's true. That's true. We, Matt, Maddie and I cashed in on Hangerback Walkers. We bought that. He bought that. Matt bought a ton of them. I did not have nearly as many as he did, but man, he he made a lot of MTG Finance money off Hangerback Walkers. This is going to be the last league of the evening, Immortal. We are almost to the hour 11 mark. This one might run a little bit long. It's a little bit. I guess this is a combo deck. 
It's not, not truly all grindy. All right, let's get the swaparoo. I already take a picture. I did not. How does this deck win? Painter Servant plus Grindstone combo mills your opponent's entire deck. So Painter Servant Grindstone is a combo mill finish. Legacy, red, white painter. No deck grinds better than this. That's true. That's true. Thanks everyone for sticking through the end. I do appreciate it. Twoters, we updated this. I updated the stream decker. Sweet, we're good to go. Just need some cards from traders. If they have Emmercool, you have Relic of Progenitus or Tormod Script. And you just exile their, their thing. Well, the Singleton SSG is so you can recruit her for it when you know you're going to need another mana. I type very quickly. I do type very quickly. All right, on to the breach. Wait, is it not? All right, there we go. I was like, what? What's going on? We need an update. Red, white painter. All right, take my tickets, Wizards of the Coast. Let's go, let's do it. 